Greetings and welcome to this 10th episode of our adventure in the territories of Prussia here on CK3. We are currently with Arelis, our second ruler, who finally at the end of the previous episode uh, became a man. He has inherited the um, territories from his father at the age of 11 and luckily no one attacked us while we were still children, but finally our little boy, our pretty boy actually, turned 16 and so he is, uh, is a man and can take full ownership of um, the territories that he has inherited. Our heir for the moment is um, Chieftain Sergonis, our vassal, age 5 years old, who is basically our half brother but let's hope to actually get a new child, our own child. Um, as soon as possible. Aurelis is 16 and uh, has very good health as well as uh, his uh, dwarf wife Gabriela, 23 years old, also with uh, very he good health. The only problem is that she's not particularly, let's say, a fan of ours, <laughs> but we are already trying to, um, to sway her in order to improve the relationship and then maybe she will get pregnant soon and give us a hair. We do not have a huge army, to be honest. Um, and so I'm not really sure if we should try to conquer some additional territories because this could weaken us. And I don't want that then one of our neighboring rulers, like our uncle or Chieftain Velnias of Stamogizia, they might be tempted to maybe attack us. On the other hand, this um, Velnias is 64 years old health is poor, he might die soon, he might die soon, and then we, if he dies then the son will get the territories and then he might have problems dealing with his own vassals, and actually one of the vassals is also our ally. So it's a, it's a complex situation, I don't know if we should really expose ourselves to the risk of being attacked with a smaller army in case if we decide to go on a war. But if we, if we will go on a war, I will suggest to probably go on uh, attacking Lithuania because they only, they at the moment have no allies and only 1800 men with 5 champions, which means that if we call our allies, we should be able to win this war in theory. And this will also improve prestige and everything. Yeah. We could try, but let's hope that this does not go, does not become a, a never ending war, because then if we really start weakening our side and have uh, only a few men left, somebody might be tempted to attack us. But for the moment, maybe we can give it a try. What else the game suggests us to do? They suggest us to raid and they want us to raid Pomesania. I don't think it's a good policy. Um, declaring war. Cuyavi, Pomerelia, Kraina. Okay, Scandinavian territories I'm not really interested as well as the territories under Slovenska fate. Yeah. Concubine, we are not interested because we don't want to piss off our wife. Alliance, for the moment I will not really negotiate this. I'm not sure. We can do it at any time anyway. We are not endorsed by our seer, but it's okay because uh, he still has uh, kind of a decent opinion, like minus three, minus four. Minus four, yeah. So I think over time the relationship will improve. We could try attacking Lithuania, guys. Let's do it. I don't want to keep wasting time with general consideration about what we could do and what we should not do. Let me just check one thing because I want to be sure that if we call the allies, they join us. So Mache, will he join? Not that sure. And we don't have a lot of money to try to convince them. 
she maybe could join virus most likely will not join now probably we should just wait for the moment i will suggest not to do anything weird virus the council meeting as me and my na, 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 na. So we have the chance to bring to a council meeting um, our dog. People at the council will lose opinion. And I think at the moment they don't have a fantastic opinion. So let's try not to reduce it further. But if we don't invite the dog, <laughs> then the dog might go around and give troubles anyway. Let's try. Try to be serious and not bring animals to the council. Okay, we managed to improve uh, the relationship with uh, Wojciech who found our dog. Good. So in the end, maybe it was the right decision not to bring the dog to the court. Resistance to settlers. Here, of course, because now the territory is also under the control of this boy, so why should the settlers be fine with the conversion to the, the Prussian culture? The fate at least is the, is the same, but the culture not, so we don't have full control there. We have zero credibility with a vassal of five years old, so I will say it's expected. Hmm. Interesting territory on the other hand. Yeah, it's completely out of our political. Yeah. Yeah, I will not waste time trying to expand there. Let's just monitor Lithuania, how they keep doing. And actually, Lithuania will be interesting as soon as this uh, leash. I mean, he's still 44 and the health is fine, but should he die, then there will be a five years old girl taking control of this territory. And this other will become basically independent, I think. Or no, it will remain under, okay, but it will be like, okay. Yes, clear, clear. Now for the moment, let's do nothing. I would like to see how things develop. Let's also keep track of the court to see who will join us. I think this guy, we have already checked him. Yes, is the one with the claims, but we are not interested in those claims. I'm curious to know when Bajoras and Velnias will die because I want to see how things uh, will develop back then because then maybe there's some ter territory split and definitely their alliances will uh, at least some they should expire I believe and that could be good It'll be beneficial for us Uh, let's see. Plus 15. I don't want to waste money making a feast or a hunt. I'm a little bit stuck, honestly, guys, because, I mean, we are not strong enough, that is clear. I 
Okay guys, let's declare this war. Let's not waste other time and let's do it. Let's see who from our allies want to join. I would suggest to probably focus on this territory. Or maybe let me check one thing first. What is the one with the highest development? Three. Okay, we definitely want to focus on this territory. Declare war. Let's call this a lie and let's call this a lie. And let's see if they join. One joins, the other two. Okay. This have already <laughs> moved towards the, the main capital. Good, let's join them. To make sure that they don't get smashed. Okay, the siege starts. I don't see their armies to be honest. Where are they? They're not trying to defend their territories. Okay, let's speed up the process here. Uh, we have lost an alliance with Trahai. We have lost an alliance. Yeah. But at least she's still. This uh, new ruler is still remaining in the war, involved in the war. And in the meantime, we got also help from the other territory. So I think this should be an easy war in theory. I don't know why it was not listed here among the possible targets because in the end it was. It should be doable this war. Well, let's see. months left. Bioras Charm Vassal. I stumbled upon my half brother Sergonis. This dog of yours is quite the charmer, my lord. She's a good girl. Actually, I gave. <laughs> she's not. A, she's not a male dog. She's a female. And I gave the the name of my uncle to a female dog. So to even be to even insult my uncle more. Fantastic. Um. But good, it seems that this dog was uh, really a good move so far, it was only contributing. So we have lost the counts, someone at the council, it was the marshal. How did he die? Don't tell me that he died in the, I don't know, old age, 66. Yeah, it's acceptable. So we could actually promote uh, Gerdautas, who is also our champion and he's 21 in Marshall, so I think it's a good choice. It's even a little upgrade. So we have captured an important hostage in our siege and we already went up to plus 56%. So what we could do next is to maybe attack another city and siege another city. I really don't know where are these people because it seems that they are not even trying. Ah, okay, they are coming. They are coming. They are coming to defend their territory. I talk. Uh, I, I was <laughs> a little bit. I, I jinxed it. I said that they were not coming and now they showed up. I don't know exactly what they want to do, but we have enough men to defend ourselves. So. Let's see what they decide to do. For the moment they are simply avoiding us. Okay, they engage some, with some of our allies. That should be under control, I believe. Yes. 100%. Awesome. Enforce demand. And we have expanded further our territories. This is very good. We are extremely fragmented. We have four counties and none of them are actually contiguous, which is kind of funny. But yeah, at least we are somewhere there. We are somewhere there. We have reached the maximum of three domains, which is good. I don't know why here things went negative. 
maybe because I have to disband the army exactly I'm not sure about the prestige but it's okay uh, and in the meantime somebody is raiding us but actually we should be able to defend ourselves yeah, but I cannot really yeah I cannot manage because they're already running away it does not allow me to raise the armies again ah no okay I can try should we try raise all armies and move them here can we defend ourselves please and retrieve the gold yes maybe we can manage good we won and we have recovered 30 of gold we cannot disband yet the army but it's okay Ransom, they want to give us 25 for this little girl. Where's my sister and friend? Well, what's going on here? Uh, I'm willing to release... Uh, when was this taken? From Estonia. I don't remember when uh, when they capture her, but okay, they capture Dagas. Ah, no, probably yes, it happened, I think, in the previous episode, right. Um, yeah, let's pay. It's fine. It's fine, and then what we can do, because I think we also have some hostage, let's see what we can do. So this is basically the daughter of the of um, Chieftain Kunos of Lithuania. I think it's good to keep. I think he will pay 25. Okay, let's get this 25 back. And this one? Ah, another daughter. At first we must wait for him to accept. Uh, Gerdautas died, okay. Let's get also this other 25, perfect. So we got 50 units of gold by just giving back those daughters to the leash we just attacked. So Gerdautas died, so our, our council is slowly dying because uh, they're all very old, except I think this one. He's 40, okay, should be able. 36, no, okay, so then I think only the, the old ones died and then all the others should be relatively young. So let's see who we could place. This is a problem. We don't have any decent steward. Which means that we will need to use actually the marriage to try to improve our situation. What's going on here in Samojitsia? Okay, Rose is moving. Rose from Trakai is moving against uh, Velnias. So something similar to what we saw in Masuria against my uncle is happening also in Samojitsi against Velnias. By the way, we are, we are left with only one allies. So we have approximately 3,000 levies in total. Uh, okay, okay. Um, let's try to see how we can bring a new chancellor at our court. Married. This will also be a good fighter. I don't think we will manage. Oh, seriously? I do not have any other women at my... Ah, okay. Very old ones. It's 56. If I try with this lady, of course it will not accept. It will not be easy, actually. It will not be easy.
And actually, he had a good opinion of us. Ah, this will accept. Okay, but it's old and uh, ah, it's not very good. And also it does not have very good stats, honestly. There are not decent stewards, at least not with this faith. Ah, bu -bu 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 -bum. Minus three. And this is 63. Let's try with this. Ah, this will accept. Matrilinear marriage. Go. Okay, it will have only 11 of stewardship, but still better than nothing. Okay. Okay, good. So currently, Russia includes a total of uh, five territories. Three are under our control and two are, un are under the control of our half-brother, Sergonis. So in the meantime, reach the age of seven. Uh, what our wife wants to do, age 25 and still no kids. Doesn't look that good. Look how mature we look now. We are only 18 and we already look like 30 something, but it's okay. Then let's wait for the moment we can disband all armies. Okay, now we can do it. Council, okay, we need to restore order here. We will do, do it in the next eight years, which unfortunately means we will not focus more on the levies which are needed, but still, we need to ensure that this recently conquered territory become uh, more peaceful so to say then we have a new challenge lesson from the past okay we have the possibility to get oh let's try this one 70 percent of chance well i will give i will get stress if i fail to decipher the scroll but 70 percent of success and we could gain 100 martial experience then one martial trait, um, one martial stat, one martial, uh, one learning stat, and commander bonus for 20 years. Let's try. It will be very convenient. Let's see what's the difference here. One martial, one learning. Okay. Learning plus two. Start the battle. Very good. Let's see what the game suggests. Ah, this is a very good news. Our dwarf uh, wife is finally pregnant. The relationship is not really improving, but this way is almost done. I'm curious to see if uh, the son or the daughter will inherit the, the trait dwarf, which of course will not be good, but it could also be that they will inherit our trait, which is instead positive. So I'm really curious to see what it will happen there. Let's use Bellum Justum so that declaring war will cost us less for unlocking the first trait from our lifestyle. Let's track what's going on around us. Bayer has 4,000 levies, my god. And this Velnius does not want to die at the age of 67, even though his health is not very good. We don't want Swayona to seduce us. And in the meantime, please notice how Novgorod is in difficulty right now. It looks like they have a lot of contested territories. I think internal uh, revolts. 
Mm. But apparently the king is managing well on all fronts. Then at some point I would really like to get the titles back from Sergonis. But I don't want to be considered a tyron. Ransom. Ah, so Gerdautas uh, did not die. Is that Gerdautas? No, that's not possible. It's another Gerdautas because he was not having stats to be sitting at the council. No, it's a misunderstanding. So basically they are asking uh, for money. This is still the ruler from Estonia. Who wants us to pay 10 to get back Gerdautas, 26 years old. Well, we have enough money. Let's bring him back. That's fine. He's a good boy. He's a Vidilis guy. Let's defend our people. So, it was successful this way on uh, Gabriela. Which means that now our wife a little bit likes us, which is good. Also because honestly it should be the other way around. We should not like her particularly, considering that she's a dwarf with one leg. Uh, but our pretty boy Arelis actually, I mean, she should be seduced by him. Uh, what we could do actually about seduction, can we maybe start a different kind of scheme? So if I interrupt this one. Mm, it will only have 25% of chance to of success and what probably I would like to focus instead at this point is the opinion of our seer. Okay, that now it's only minus two, but let's still try to improve. It went from minus four to minus two. But I would like to start farming also a little bit of piety. Bioras and Velnias, they really don't want to die. Actually, I should pin them because I think it will be faster to... to uh, control them. And in the meantime, our dog um, created the first trouble. So, Sergonis was really in love with our dog, but now apparently he's not very happy with the behavior of Bioras. So what we will do... Either we pay 50, which is a lot. Okay, let's lose 20 of opinion from uh, Sergonis. It's fine. I think here we can unpin him because for the moment it's okay. And what we should do is pinning instead the uncle. How is Estonia doing? Ah, they're still very big and strong. Hmm, I saw through conquered Denmark and started to expand in the in the Pomesania. No Pomerelia territories. Okay. Uh, Lithuania is still okay, like this, we don't really have possibility to expand, I mean, should the truce expire, we could try to get another county from Lithuania. But I don't want to do it for the moment, also because it will take some time before this truce expires, unless, maybe, no, let's leave him here. On the domestic affair. Promote culture, control. She is on support scheme, but maybe she should rather on disrupt scheme because at the moment we are not scheming against anyone. So the spouse of Velnias died. 
so now is uh, the widower. And Velnius, so when it's your time to die? So, we have a daughter. Uh, it's not a boy, it's a daughter. Let's take a look at this girl. She didn't inherit the trait from uh, the mother. So it's not a dwarf, it's a normal healthy child and even a pretty one. Uh, but maybe let's give her a different name. Zidas. Good, sounds like a warrior name, so I like it. Zidas Vilks. She will be my heir. Should Arelis die. And luckily, she's not a dwarf. So very, very good. If we take a look at our family tree. We still have a few living members, to be honest. We should have done better than this. So here is Bayoras, our father Gauronas. Bioras has two male sons. One is already a man and the other one is getting closer. We have to monitor them as well because he has a severe health penalty, so it's interesting. I hope that he dies soon and then this guy dies soon as well because of, uh, of his um, health problems. And then basically it will be either this boy or another one, I don't remember who, and then we could even inherit. We will be third in line at that point to inherit. Yeah, it's it's not that, uh, it's quite remote as a possibility, but it could still happen, right? And it will be a peaceful way to inherit all the territories that are currently marked under Masuria. Or at least most of them, I believe, if not all. We really want Masuri and Samojitsia to stop being allied. So one of the two must die. Yeah, and I would also like to see the truce with Lithuania expiring so that maybe we could try conquering another territory. Ah, we have a new guest. A guest who has no claims, but he's 26 in martial, 19 of prowess. He belongs to another fate, but maybe we will be able to convert also because he's not that he does not have the trait zealous. Let's see what happens. It costs 23, but for a guy like that, I think it's okay. He's even 30 years old, so very young, and his health is good. Let's recruit. Can I also demand conversion? He will accept most likely. Good, it becomes Vidilist. Fantastic. And now we can actually set him as one of our champions very good I might make him also a, our marshal because I mean he clearly has the skills but for the moment I'm happy with Gerdautas or Gerdautas I don't know how to pronounce who has really 21 marshals so it's more than sufficient I spent 50 of piety because of the seer we have. Come on guys, seriously. One of you must die. And actually, Samojitsia is losing Levis. So they are winning the conflicts, but they have still... Ah, no, okay, they got them back. For a second, I hope that 
they will have had some fatal, fatal casualties. So notable guest arrived. Who is she? Someone with a claim on Tartu, which I believe it does not uh, belong under our expansion targets. Apart from that, she's also ready with the boy, so we cannot really use her to attract new people because we, we really lack women. We need to have women. And actually, ah, this is something I could do, guys. I mean, it, we, we should already close the video for today, but something I could do because I want to have kids in our court. Kids, girls, I want to, to bring a, a few of people here. So let's do the following. Let's marry the people at our court because this is something I never really um, worked on in the previous episodes of this series. I never, I never really invested in my court, marrying them, taking care of the education of the children that are born inside my court. So let's do the following. Let's pick all the people at our court. Um, they are mainly men, unmarried. Okay. Uh, let's focus actually on the on the male because we really need female so let's marry first the most important or actually let's start from the lowborn okay so get out as courtier and friend arrange marriage is heterosexual ah but I can no I f wait 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 I think I can marry him with a lot of people right why show me only my court let's do it let's do something different I start to bring female character with high learning or or uh, intrigue so not ruler, adult, female, unmarried, religion, Baltic. So Bethan, for example. Would you like to marry Gerdautas? She will not accept because Gerdautas is a lowborn. If he was not a lowborn, she would have accepted. Then we can try with Alf. And then she will accept. Let's do the same thing with someone who has maybe good learning. And then we can see, okay, this is court series. So no, this is old court series. Maybe this one, arrange marriage. Most likely we will have to use another champion who is not a lowborn because otherwise she will not accept and we have another girl let's try again let's continue with maybe another with intrigue relatively young Veslikan you somebody who will be fine with a lowborn can we find no apparently not then let's try with another woman Let's make sure that they are lowborn as well. Relatively young, Aldra. I cannot find a woman for the poor Gerdautas. Don't really know why. I don't want my friend Gerdautas. Let's try again where you are learning. Tu, 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 tu. 37 I think Danuta I checked there already, right? Or not? Plus she has minus 1, plus 4, let's try Minus 10 mm. Unlucky Unlucky 25, 50, 46, da and already there. Let's do another thing. Some of skills. Aldona, Cassirus, Batten, 
This is nice. Oh, I cannot marry to her? Why? Arrange marriage. Is she maybe lesbian? Ah, she's asexual. But she's even uh, kind of cute. She does not want anyone. She's asexual. Okay. But okay, I think it's already an improvement. We managed to marry two. And they might make some kids. And then we will have control on the kids that... Uh, on the education of those kids because they will still belong to my court and also the good thing is that um, they're also women with good stats so I could use them for the council in case if uh, there will be the need and I will say that guys for today this is more than sufficient we managed uh, this was the first adventure with the uh, Arelis we took care of the first three years of uh, government under him uh, in his uh, adult age and uh, yeah it went well I would say because we expanded our territories farther now we have three territories directly under our control two under our half brother who is the vassal so if we go here and we take a look actually I, can, I could already move to this next level of the tribal authority but I don't want to decrease the opinion of uh, the half brother so currently we have clearly the dominant situation here on our brother because we have more levies and more taxes even if not much. Um, it was still a successful episode also because we managed finally to have the first kid from our dwarf wife and it was also very good because even though it's not a boy but it's a girl but it's a girl uh, she inherited the nice trait that we have and she didn't inherit instead the dwarf trait from the mother so it's actually very good so until this point I can say I am satisfied and Arelis is only 19 with very good health so let's see it promised well but I don't want to spoil <laughs> anything I do not want to jinx um, the course of uh, government of uh, Arelis so guys, what I can do as always is to invite you to subscribe to the channel not to miss the next episode.